Welcome back to another episode of Dish on our show. And Chris is not with me right now due to the fact that I had to kill him due to the other video that we were making. But anyway, yeah, he messed with my PS4 in the background. But anyway, um, this episode of No Gain No Life was pretty hilarious, actually, because at first, Ciro and um, Sora actually assumed that Stephanie was a damn idiot because her name was Stephanie. And like, oh, she has been idiot because she is Stephanie. But apparently, she was popular in school. She graduated at the top of her class, and not to mention, she had gigantic milk muscles that they keep farting in the nails camera and keep showing us. Because he's like the only piece of ass that in the anime right now that people constantly look at. And, um, they were playing all types of games because she killed Kyle get one over them. Like, she kind of actually prayed against Sora, I mean, Sora to make him, like, a better person. However, she lost. And then she just constantly kept losing. Losing to the point that she just kept losing her clothes. I mean, Sora had her panties on her head. Like, her head walking around smelling like straight vagina now. However... You know, she a kid. So I act like I'm a kid. I don't understand. Even her bra on top of her head. I'm like, damn. And the only day she had was a damn apron and, a, and, and some ears and a tail on. The tail covered her butt and the apron barely covered her exposed vagina. They were making an ass out of herself, out of her ass. She was trying to figure out why she can't uh, win. She wanted to uh, win to actually help her country. Well, why can't she win? But they actually broke it down and explained how. You know that's you know why she couldn't win, meaning that they just so smart they just figure out how to get out of all types of situations, and it just seem like she can't win just by chance. He was guessing who walked past the goddamn uh, alleyway. It was ridiculous. These got these these two characters, Zero and Sora, they just unbeatable. You see in episode four where they were kind of go against each other, and they couldn't even beat each other, so they just completely the gods of games. You can't fuck with them. And I'm like, this is why we should do stage and ask real life so kind. Like, you know what? Like, you need to watch the dishes. Really? Play me a soul cattle right here. Beat the shit out you and then you gotta wash the dishes. That'd be epic. I gotta start doing that with Chris. Cause I could be Chris's like every glass one of my damn games I got up there. Seriously. He, he, he suck. Big time. Bitch, I'm pretty good at, uh... <laughs> I'm pretty... You can take that off me. You can take that off me. <laughs> Obviously, if I didn't want to be on the camera, I wouldn't have to put, I had to put them in there. Damn, little hoe. I can, <laughs> I can beat you. In, uh, I can at least attempt to beat you in what's his name? You can, but well, he probably beat me. You beat me in Dale. I ain't gonna lie about that. I, I had that shit for two years yet to play it, really. Aha. Uh -huh. I love Helena. And Christy. Kasumi. And Elliot. And Lady Fane. So? She epic. So? But anyway, um, tell you guys thank me. Make you guys Fuck you, bitch. Make sure you got a rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace. <coughs> oh. Slut. Tramp. Dick sucker. <laughs>